Hello and welcome everybody to this demo. Here's Ahmad Nasser from AhmadNasser.com. We just want to show you the new alphabet board, which is Arabic alphabet board. This version is designed specifically for Arabic language with all the 28 alphabets. So let's get started with uh, this demo. I'll show you what, what's new in this uh, version and what are the main features added to this new version of alphabet board. Uh, with the main new feature was supporting the new UI system in Unity. So let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to show you a quick demo here using BlueStack. I just exported the app into Android and uh, I'm using here BlueStack app player. So this is the icon of the app. I'm just going to click here. You can see the uh, orientation of the app is landscape. Uh, you can go to the any of the letters and start tracing it uh, as you can see here. So yeah, this is really awesome. So you can go for, to the, uh, use the navigation here, uh, menu on the right. You can navigate between the letters, go to the home page and so forth. Let's go, just go down to Unity and just show you uh, what we got there. Uh, here we got the scenes folder. Uh, we got mainly two scenes in the uh, application, the uh, uh, alphabet menu, which, which uh, contains all the letters the Arabic letters and also we got the alphabet writing where you write the letter and start tracing the letter. So let's go to the alphabet menu and just give you uh, what we got there. We got the 28 letter. Here we are using canvas component. Um, you can see here because we sup we uh, using this uh, allow us to make the game responsive on all the screens. Uh, in the previous versions of Alphabet Board, we used uh, uh, our own responsive script, but here we changed that to uh, uh, the canvas and the UI component using anchoring. So right now, if you go to the menu, you got letters here. It's uh, just uh, a normal UI object. Inside it, we got all the letters. For example, you got the letter Alif, which is the first letter in the la in the language. So you can see here we attach the uh, canvas, uh, we we attach the anchor to the border of the alphabet to make it responsive. So whatever you change the screen size, the letter will remain responsive uh, on, all, on all the screen sizes. So as you can see here, this is done for all the alphabets. So right now you go to, to the letter, you uh, just got the button here, and we just added a sprite to it uh, with a on-click button. When you, when you click in this button, you're just gonna uh, uh, load uh, an event inside uh, the events here. So we got events, uh, something called a load letter. So we just give it uh, the argument of the letter. So you have to drag and drop the letter here for all the entire, for all the entire letters below. So this is the first thing, guys, about uh, how to implement the letter or the menu, the first letter in the menu. Um, it's just very easy. We have here the events attached to the, uh, we have something called events. Uh, it's attached to the main camera. So all what you have to do is just go here and uh, just select uh, uh, the main camera here. And after that, you just select the events and just load the letter in order to be able to load it in the, the writing scene. So we use the, the, uh, the, uh, the hyphen or the uh, dash uh, concatenation. So every time we have uh, the number of letters, for example, in English, we have 26 uh, letter, but in Arabic, we have 28 letters. So we just um, arrange this letter from number zero to, to number uh, 27, because we have 28 letter. Each letter got an index of, of their order in the alphabet. So for example, a, a will be in index zero, B will be in the index one and so forth. So here, a, Alif in Arabic, we have uh, in zero, one, two, and so forth. We use this dash in order to get the index of each letter in order to load the letter in the next scene. So this is an important naming uh, uh, convention that we used here. You should uh, use this uh, mechanism. We, we started from the number hash and next the, the index of that number in the alphabet. So after that, you load the number. When you load the number, just going to go to the alphabet writing scene. In the alphabet writing scene, we just uh, change the orientation of the screen, the menu to the right, because in Arabic, we start from right to left. Uh, we used here also, we used canvas. So if you go to the canvas here, we got all, we got a canvas, we got menu, and this menu got uh, the buttons here, the home button and the next button and the back button and so forth and the erase button. Also, we got the music button to the left. 
and we attached the uh, uh, we added the uh, function inside the events and this function gonna toggle the music so when it's on we're just gonna toggle it off and when it's off we're just gonna toggle it on and you can see this function is implemented inside the uh, events script also we got here the hand the hand uh, in the previous version of alphabet board we used uh, the normal uh, um, sprite but here we used a UI component uh, as an image component as you can see here uh, to and we ordered these uh, uh, UI elements in, in, in from the bottom to the top because uh, if you want to move for example the hand I'm just gonna show you later on but if you move the hand there is some layers so the the item in, in the bottom will be at the top so this is so, some sort of layering inside the new UI system in Unity. So that's why the hand should be above everything. So that's why we put it at the bottom of the canvas. Yeah, this is pretty much the letters here. Uh, we're using something called uh, writing handler. And this writing handler contains all the letter uh, in, in order. So we start from 0 to uh, 27. So you have to make the letter. And each letter is just... Uh, 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 a rigid body with a polygon collider with the uh, tracing part. So, for example, here we go to the Aleph. Uh, it's got a tag of letter, and also this Aleph got uh, an empty object called, or an object, a logical object called tracing points. Inside this tracing points, we got uh, the the tracing points. So, what do we mean by tracing point? Let me just turn on the the letter here. Uh, let's go to the first tracing point here to A. So you can see. Uh, the letter here it got two parts. The first part at the top and the second part at the bottom. So here we have to divide the letter into two parts. Every part of the letter should got tracing points. So here we start from this tracing point to this tracing point to, to this tracing point to this tracing point. So why we need this tracing point? Because when you write over the letter, we have to trace the progress of the writing. So that's why we put this uh, uh, checkpoints or tracing points in order to know if the player finished the part or not. So as you can see here, the, we got two parts, the, the, the two parts here. Every part got priority. For example, you have to start with the part one here with, with these three uh, points. You have to start with this uh, part. Next, you have to get to the second part to go to the second part and finish the second part. So every part got priority. So we, we made this priority by using uh, uh, something called tracing part. So as you can see here, we have here three tracing part. Uh, the first part will be at the bottom, second part will be top, and the other part will be here, three, this part. So every part got tracing points. For example, the first part, which is part one, got tracing part of five, six, seven, where tracing part one, uh, tracing part two got two and uh, one and two, and tracing part three got three and four, which is uh, basically uh, this tracing three and four. We're talking about here and here. So uh, you can see three and four, every uh, tracing point got an index. So this is uh, index three, this is index four. So here in the letter itself, we got uh, this uh, tracing part, uh, tracing uh, part with its priority, which is order three, and with the points, uh, which is point three and four. So this is how we just implemented this. Uh, if you need further help in uh, uh, designing this, uh, we designed a manual, a complete manual. So you can go to uh, uh, the. Let me just go to the manual here and show you uh, what we did. We just designed a manual with uh, this uh, asset to let you uh, see how exactly to customize it step by step from scratch. So how to add the letter, how to uh, do all that uh, in a very, very uh, well-written manual uh, to help you and guide you to design your own clone of this game and customize it, customize it to whatever thing you want. So this is a great manual. It comes with uh, this asset. So you're going to find it on Asset Store. And uh, as you can see, uh, let me just go to the alphabet menu and just give you a quick demo of what we got here. Okay, we got additional features. We got winning dialogue. The, all these features are very easy. We used very simple uh, uh, code to achieve that. But uh, let me just give you a quick demo here. 
Yeah, as you can see here, we got responsive background. We got all the letters. You got you got uh, background music, as you can see here. So you can turn off the music and uh, go to each of these letters uh, separately. So let's go, for example, to letter G. So here you can start tracing the letter. So as you can see, I finished the first part. You need to finish the second part here. You can see we finished the part. You can close the dialog, see uh, your progress. You can erase it. You can go to the next letter. And so forth. So yeah, this is a great. We, we just uh, added smooth lines uh, with uh, very, very nice large letters to let the kid uh, learn easily when they uh, trace or write the letters also we added uh, the support for pen tracing so you if your iPad or uh, tablet is uh, is supported by a pen like notepad uh, galaxy note or any other uh, tablet you got a pen so you can trace the letter with this pen easily uh, without any problem so this is these are the main features of alphabet board including the winning dialogue uh, all these features are arranged in, in, in just single screen. There's no confusion navigation. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much, uh, guys, a quick demo about Alphabet Board. Uh, it's implemented using the U, new UI system, uh, support for customization for other languages, compatible with uh, Unity 4.6 and above, uh, and Unity 5, large ladder shapes for easy tracing, attractive sound effects, music control among all the scenes we got smooth lines we got a uh, well documented script and this uh, asset support pc ios and android and we got responsive custom background and complete scenes so these are the main features guys of alphabet arabic alphabet board i hope you like it don't forget to uh, uh take a look at it at the asset store at my website amandas.com and Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have any question, you can find my email in the description and you can contact me via my website, amanaz.com or via my Arabic website, AN Bil Arabi. You are more than welcome. I am available on the social media, Facebook, Twitter. So you can follow me back and ask you a question that you need. Thank you guys very much. We got a complete course about this on Udemy. You can also uh, follow that course at udemy.com. You can find the link in the description below. Thank you guys very much again for watching. All the time, here's Ahmad Nasser from ahmadnasser.com. See you another time.